In this video, we are going to be making this graphic here. So open up DaVinci Resolve with a new project, start by opening the effects tab and dragging a fusion composition clip into the timeline. Now you can enter the fusion tab. We will start by placing all the elements needed for this effect and then we will add the expressions to them to make things happen automatically. So add a background node from the toolbar and connect it up to the media out node before changing the color of the background node in the inspector. I recommend you go for a yellow here as it works best with the color change I do. However, this is possible to do with any color you wish. Next, add a multi-merge node from the toolbar, connecting it by holding the shift key as you place the node over the existing connection line. From here, you can now add a text node also from the toolbar and position it by typing a three digit number into the text box as a temporary way to add style. Then we'll need an S rectangle and S render node. As each of these aren't nodes in the toolbar, use the control plus space shortcut to open the menu or slightly more awkwardly, you can use the right click add tool menu. In the pop-up window, type S rectangle and add this node here by selecting it and then pressing the bottom right add button. Next, select the new S rectangle node created and then repeat the same process, but searching for the S render node as seen here instead. Because you had the S rectangle node selected when creating the S render node, it would have already been connected as we want. Then, using the same way of connecting nodes, connect the S render node into the multi-merge node. To configure the S rectangle node as I have, you can tweak the parameters yourself or copy what I have done here with the parameters that need changing highlighted. Now that we have something that looks like my original example, it's time for us to use the automation side of things. The first step is to create our countdown, as this is the backbone of all the magic here. As this is used by multiple different values in different ways, I'm going to create a custom control on my media out node. Whilst I will cover this specific example of using custom controls now, if you want more information on custom controls, you can watch the video in the card. Start by right clicking the media out node and selecting edit controls. From here, name the new control countdown and select the ID input box, causing the matching ID to be generated for you. In the next box down, leave the default type as number before then selecting slider control as the input control. Now we have finished customizing our input control, select the OK button in the bottom right of the dialog box. If we go into the inspector panel of the media out node and go to the user page, we can now see we have the countdown control. We are now going to start using expressions to create the countdown and connect multiple different values to it. Whilst I will cover everything you need to make this example here, once again, if you want a more broad understanding of expressions, then watch this video in the card. The first expression we will create is the counting down one on this new countdown control. Start by right clicking on this value and choosing expression. In the text box created, write the following string as you can see on your screen. This is a somewhat confusing expression and it's in the description for you to copy and paste if that's easier. Now, if you play back your clip, you should see this value counting down. To attach the text to this countdown, enter the text node in the inspector panel and right click on the text area, creating an expression in the same way. In this input box, use the following string as you can see on the screen, which sets the text to be the countdown value of the media out one node. Now you have the countdown on the text, we can move to making the rectangle element act like a cooldown bar. To do this, open the inspector panel for the S rectangle node and create an expression on the X offset value, adding the following string as the expression. Now your cooldown bar should work also. The final element to this is the changing color of the background at the end of the countdown. To do this, enter the background node in the inspector panel and create an expression on the red value. Type the following string into the panel, or again, as with any of these expressions, you can find them in the description to copy and paste. This expression is an if statement, which you can see how they work from this graphic I made previously on my custom controls video. If you want this to make the background turn red on the end of the countdown, apply it to the green value instead, as you can see. And there you have it, your own countdown animation. You can now make this fusion composition clip as long or as short as you want. However, ensure that if you're changing the size of the clip, do that from the end of the clip, never the beginning. Otherwise, you'll find that you cause issues. If you have experience like this here with the effect when extending it, just go back to the text node and move the size value smaller and then back to what you had it on before to resolve the bug. This isn't just a playback issue, so it will appear in your renders if it's not sorted. If when you've tried it, it hasn't quite worked out the same, don't worry as you can find the effect as pasteable nodes in the link in the description. Now you have this effect, you can take individual aspects of this effect like the cooldown bar and use it for other purposes, like at the top of a short form video to help improve retention. If you want me to do an update to this effect with hours and minutes, not just seconds on the countdown, then leave a comment down below. This is a new style of video for me with a much more step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create something specific. So if it's something you would like to see more of, please do leave your feedback down below.